Greetings travelers of the Information Superhighway, and welcome to the Internet Vault. Today, we're opening the doors to a topic that's as complex as it is universal, emotional burnout. It's an unwelcome visitor that can sneak up on any of us, turning our vibrant lives into a grayscale existence. It's not about being simply tired or bored, but a deeper, more profound exhaustion that seeps into every facet of our lives. So buckle up as we delve deep into the 10 signs of emotional burnout. Sign number one, friends, is chronic fatigue. Now we're not talking about the kind of tired you feel after a long day or a sleepless night. This is something entirely different. Chronic fatigue is like a heavy blanket, a deep, unshakable exhaustion that wraps around you and seeps into every part of your life. It's the kind of tired where you wake up feeling like you've run a marathon in your sleep, but it's more than just physical tiredness. It's an emotional and mental exhaustion that clouds your thinking and makes even the simplest tasks seem like climbing Mount Everest. It's the kind of tired that coffee can't cure and a nap won't shake. It's the kind of tired that affects your ability to function, to work, to socialize, to just be you. And if you're always tired, no matter how much sleep you get, you might be experiencing emotional burnout. Moving on to sign number two, insomnia. Now let's talk about sleep, or rather the lack of it. When you're emotionally burnt out, your sleep cycle can take a real hit. You might find yourself tossing and turning at night, struggling to catch those much needed Zs. Or perhaps you're waking up at the crack of dawn despite your best efforts to sleep in. Emotional burnout can cause sleep disturbances and insomnia, making it difficult to fall asleep, stay asleep, or even wake up at a reasonable hour. This lack of sleep can leave you feeling drained, exacerbating the burnout and creating a vicious cycle. It's like trying to run a marathon on an empty tank, folks. It just doesn't work. So if counting sheep isn't doing the trick anymore, it could be a sign of emotional burnout. Keep in mind, a good night's sleep is not a luxury. It's a necessity. So don't ignore the signs. Your well-being depends on it. Sign number three, forgetfulness and impaired concentration. Now this is a tricky one. When we're emotionally burnt out, our cognitive function can take a serious hit. You might find yourself forgetting important dates, misplacing your coffee mug, or even struggling to remember the name of that movie you watched last night. This isn't just your average, I walked into a room and forgot why I'm here kind of forgetfulness. No, we're talking about a consistent pattern of memory lapses that disrupt your daily life, and it doesn't stop at forgetfulness. Impaired concentration is another telltale sign. You might find it harder to focus on tasks, maintain a train of thought, or even keep up with a conversation. This isn't about being scatterbrained or having a senior moment. It's about a persistent struggle with memory and focus that can be a sign of emotional burnout. In other words, if you're constantly misplacing your keys or zoning out in meetings, emotional burnout might be the culprit. Go on to sign number four, physical symptoms. Now, this may come as a surprise to some, but emotional burnout doesn't just mess with your mind. It can also have a real, tangible impact on your body. We're talking headaches that seem to come out of nowhere, stomach aches that make you double over, and even a lowered immunity that leaves you susceptible to every cold and flu going around. It's like your body is waving a big red flag, trying to tell you that something's not quite right. And here's the kicker. These symptoms often appear without an apparent cause. You've been to the doctor, you've had the tests, but they can't find anything physically wrong. And that's when you have to consider the possibility that emotional stress is the culprit. So if you're feeling physically run down without an apparent cause, emotional burnout could be to blame. It's your body's way of saying, hey, slow down, take a breather, and let's get things back in balance. Sign number five, increased illness. You know how it goes, right? When we're emotionally burnt out, our immune system takes a hit. It's like your body's defense team is too worn out to keep up the good fight. So you may find yourself more susceptible to every pesky bug and virus floating around, colds, flus, you name it. It's not just bad luck, folks. In short, if you're catching every cold that comes your way, it might be time to check in with your emotions. Moving on to sign number six, loss of appetite. 
When we're running on emotional fumes, our bodies often respond in surprising ways. One of those can be a change in our eating habits. Stress and exhaustion can lead to us either losing our appetite entirely or finding solace in overeating. It's as if our body is trying to compensate for the lack of energy we're feeling. So if your favorite foods are losing their appeal, it might be more than just a passing phase. Sign number seven, anxiety. Picture a teapot on a hot stove, the water inside bubbling, steam building up, pressure mounting. That's a pretty good metaphor for what anxiety can feel like. You see, chronic stress is like that stove constantly heating up your emotional teapot. Over time, this can lead to feelings of anxiety, including constant worry and tension. You might find yourself fretting over the small stuff, like being five minutes late to a meeting, or the big stuff, like the future of the planet. You might feel a knot in your stomach that just won't go away or a sense of unease that's hard to shake. It's like your brain is stuck in overdrive and you can't find the break. And while it's normal to worry sometimes, persistent anxiety can really take a toll on your well-being. So if your worries are keeping you up at night, it's worth considering if emotional burnout is playing a role. Sign number eight, depression. Now, we're not talking about the occasional blue day here. Emotional burnout can lead to a more significant, persistent feeling of sadness that just doesn't seem to lift. You might find yourself carrying around a heavy weight of hopelessness, a sense that nothing is going right and nothing ever will. Everyday activities that you used to enjoy may now feel like chores. Maybe your morning coffee doesn't taste as good or your favorite TV show just isn't funny anymore. The world can start to look a bit gray and flavorless. It's important to remember that this isn't your fault. Emotional burnout can sneak up on us and color our world in shades of gloom. It's a sign that you're running on empty, that your emotional resources are depleted. If you're feeling down in the dumps and you're not sure why, emotional burnout could be the cause. A sign number nine, anger. A clear indicator that you're feeling the heat of emotional burnout is when the flame of your temper burns a little too bright, a little too often. You see, emotional exhaustion can cause a significant increase in feelings of frustration and anger. It's like your patience has taken a vacation and left you with a short fuse. These aren't just your everyday annoyances, though. We're talking about full-fledged outbursts or maybe a simmering resentment that just won't cool down. It's as if your emotional thermostat has gone haywire and everything sets it off. What's more, this anger isn't just directed at others. It's often a self-inflicted wound, a harsh self-criticism that only fuels the fire of burnout. So if you're feeling more irritable than usual, it might be time to take a closer look at your emotional well-being. And finally, sign number 10, detachment. When you're emotionally burnt out, it's like you've run out of gas. You feel like you're just going through the motions and everything seems bland and uninteresting. You might find yourself withdrawing from friends and family or losing interest in activities you once loved. Work becomes a chore and hobbies feel like a burden. It's like you're in a bubble, separate from the rest of the world. You're there, but not really. You see things happening around you, but you're not part of them. It's a strange feeling like watching a movie of your life instead of living it. This detachment is more than just feeling a little blue. It's a profound sense of disconnection, a numbness, that seeps into every corner of your life. And it's not just about being alone. Even in a crowd, you can feel isolated and distant. So if you're feeling disconnected from the world around you, it could be a sign that you're emotionally burnt out. And there you have it, folks, the 10 signs of emotional burnout. From chronic fatigue to a sense of detachment, these signs are your body's SOS, urging you to slow down, refocus, and take a breather. Remember, recognizing these signs is your first stride towards seeking help and recovery. You're not alone in this. Thank you for tuning in to the Internet Vault. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more amazing content. Stay healthy, stay informed, and take care of your emotional well-being.